Hi, I'm Tess Whitehurst, and today we're talking about what to expect after you do a spell. So from comments I've received on my blog, I've realized that um, it's not really clear to a lot of people what exactly to expect. Like, how does it unfold? What's the dynamic after you do a spell? When does it work? How does it work? Um, and so I just wanted to give you some orientation on this. So the reason why, just to as a preface, the reason why magic is, for so many of us, a spiritual path is because it's a way of aligning with the divine, of realizing your true divine nature and of drawing upon that true divine nature to create positive change in your life, but also to realize even more your true divine nature and let your soul expand and unfold in the way it wants to during this life experience. Okay, so from this perspective, when you choose a magical intention, you choose something, and I've talked about this before, you choose something that makes your heart sing, that makes you feel expansive, that makes you feel joyful. This is a way of attuning to the divine momentum of your life experience, the natural flow, how your soul wants to unfold. Okay, and when you do the spell, then it's always ideal to do it with the intention that it's for your highest and truest good and for the highest and truest good of all concerns. So you're stating that this is your intention is to align with the divine and to align with your soul's most ideal unfolding. So it's not, yeah, it's a way of choosing your intention um, and, you know, asserting your will, but it's not forcing your will over what is in alignment with your truest good. So you acknowledge, hey, this is my desire and this is how I want to feel and I want it to to be for my highest and truest good and for the highest and truest good of all. So when you do that, you're aligning with the divine aspect of you that sees all and knows all. The, the little you doesn't see all and know all. So you don't really know how it's going to unfold. This is part of the magic is trusting that, tuning into the feeling, knowing that the feeling is right, but not really knowing how it's going to play out in the physical world. So it involves an aspect of trust and it involves an aspect of releasing it to the divine. When you perform magic in this way, it always works. It doesn't always or almost never <laughs> works like you think it will. Like if you had to guess, you know, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to do a money spell, then I'm going to win the lottery. You know, it's like almost never happens like that. And the reason is because the journey is often or always what is creating that expansive feeling of joy. It's not the the end result, right? So if you feel like, oh, I want to do a spell to manifest more money, it's usually that your soul wants to learn something like worthiness. Your soul wants to learn something like joyful service, like getting more in alignment with your joyful life path and career, you know, in a way that earns you money and is a win-win for everyone. You know, it's like the this feeling of joy and connection to the world that you're really craving. And then, yeah, you'll manifest more money for sure. But it's the journey, okay? So it could look a lot of different ways. Also, it may not be as immediate as you expect it to be, and it may not be, you know, like the exact thing, like if you're going to a job interview and you do a spell for success, you know, that might not be the job that's in alignment with your highest and truest good and your soul's ex most ideal expansion, right? So this, I thought I would tell you a little story about my life 20 years ago <laughs> when I was going to an audition to be an MTV VJ. <laughs> And at the time, I was 21 or 22, I just thought, you know what? That's perfect. That's going to feel awesome. I'm going to love it. It brought me so much joy and expansion to think about being an MTV VJ. So I did a spell for success. And I remember, you know, I tuned into the feeling. What's the feeling? Oh, it's that I'm doing something that I care about, that I love, that I feel seen and appreciated, connected, you know? And I remember after I did the spell, kind of intuitively hearing the words, 
be patient. And I was like, oh, that's not a good sign. I guess I'm not going to get that job. And I didn't get that job. And the audition was really wonky. And it didn't really feel like something I would have wanted anyway. And I have a feeling that if I had gotten that job, my life would have gone in a way different direction. And I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't look like it looks now, which is so much joy in my career path. It's like now I talk about not music videos, but <laughs> or whatever direction that would have taken me in the TV world. But I talk about my favorite thing to talk about, which is magic. And I write about it and I blog about it and I have conversations about it. So it eventually unfolded where that feeling was, you know, really in flow for me, but it wasn't like I thought it was going to be. So this is an example. So the best way to get into this after you do your spell is to have a sense of curiosity and joyful expectation. And so it's not like, okay, it's been this long and maybe the spell didn't work. You know, if you can, you know, cause that it's all connected. It's like that spell, it's not totally over. You still want to let go and connect to the universe, let the universe flow in and co-create with you. So if you're constantly thinking, oh, maybe it didn't work. Um, rather than being like, okay, I connected with that feeling, you know, let's see what happens. That's the place when joyful expectation and curiosity where you open up that flow. So the divine aspect of you, the part of you that's one with all that is, can flow in and help your most ideal unfolding to occur. Okay, so if you have any questions about this or any other aspect of magic, please leave your questions in the comments below. It really helps me when I'm deciding what to do a video or a blog post about, and I do read the comments. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.